Welcome back to Home Improvement Woodworking. I'm here at the Toronto Woodworking Show, and I want to show you some of the booths that are here, some of my favorite suppliers, favorite tools, and you have an idea of what a wood show is like. Our videos show you how to add value and character to your home. This is the centerpiece of the room, so it really needs to visually work. Learn how to get quality results that you'll be proud of. Welcome to Home Improvement Woodworking. There are some deals here. I'm here to buy a couple of tools, some stuff you can get up to 20% off. So it's a good spot to come. Let me show you around. Lee Valley Tools has a lot of tools on display here today. This is a demonstration area and they're showing the honing guide. This is the Mark II. I own this and it works really well. Hello everyone, my name is Josh and I work with Fuji Spray. We are a HPLP manufacturer, uh, HPLP technology and um, we're a Canadian base based out of Toronto. Let me show you what we have for woodworkers. The Semi-Pro 2 sprayer is, is uh, it's, it's a really nice entry-level sprayer for, uh, for the woodworker who wants to get into spraying, who wants to start to really dial in on their uh, finishing and, and, and move up on the next level. So this here is a two-stage unit. Um, it, there's a two-stage mortar installed in there so that pushes out approximately five PSI and you get a selection of uh, either a bottom feed gun and model gun or you get a gravity feed gun. I own a Fuji Spray Mini Mite 3 and I really enjoy the use of mine. You'll also notice some other people like it as well. Mark Spagnolo, April Workerson. This is a great spot to ask all your questions. The Semi-Pro 2 is able to spray clear finishes, polyurethanes, lacquers, even stains, you name it. Uh, light bodied materials are sprayed very effectively. Um, when you get into latex paints, you will need to dilute, and that it's kind of a rule of thumb when you're getting to spray thick materials such as those. There are so many tools here under one roof, I feel like a kid in the candy store. But not only are there tools, there's also competitions going on. Here's a beautiful table that won first prize in the open competition. Here's the saw stop. For me, this is the highlight of the show. This is a dream tool for me, something I'm saving up for, and hopefully you'll see in my workshop soon. Everybody, if you want to come see a saw stop demo, how you can save your fingers, come on over. We're good to go? Works all the time. Here we go. Well, thank you again, Lee Valley, for hosting us here. Boom. So there we go. There's the cut, right? A small little, small little itty bitty cut. And I say a band-aid cut. We think that compared to what could have happened if I had my hand down there on a regular finger chopper saw, if and when meat comes in contact with the blade, we activate the system. Activating our system does three things. First, we sense contact and cut power to the motor. Easy. Second thing that happens, our system releases this heavy aluminum brake pole up into the blade. The blade hits it and stops almost immediately from 4,000 RPM down to nothing. But there's so much angular momentum on the blade that momentum is redirected and used to release the trunnion and the blade drops down beneath the surface of the table. Okay? That process, the dance, detecting contact, stopping and dropping below the table, in total, it takes five milliseconds, five thousandths of a second. The safest way to dance with a table saw blade is with a saw stop. This is also a great spot to stock up on your supplies and get some good deals. Like scotch Bright pads, they're pretty cheap here. Type Bond's also here, and they make my favorite liquid hide glue. Every woodworking show has presentations. They're there to help you learn your craft. Oh, hello, my name's Mike Davis. I'm at the Toronto Wood Show on behalf of Record Power and Stockroom Supply. And what I'm here demonstrating is carving. This is a step-by-step -step course which teaches the complete beginner how to create some interesting designs and decorations that will enhance your woodworking. To do that we've got a set of 12 tools, a DVD. On the DVD it's going to show you six simple techniques and most importantly how to sharpen your tools. It's going to give you a beginner's project which is this little flower here and that's all summarized in a booklet so once you've watched it you'll take it into your workshop and see if you can create that little flower after that we've got 15 free projects that we can send to you to practice those techniques and hopefully uh, improve your woodworking 
My favorite rotor bit and saw blade companies here, Freud, I love their glue line rip blade. Now if you don't have the patience for carving by hand, here's something you might be interested in. This is a startup company that started making benchtop CNC's. These are CNC machines that are affordable and meant for hobbyists. It's a way you can add productivity to your workshop and embellish things in a way that you wouldn't otherwise be able to do. The editor of Canadian Woodworking Magazine is here, Vic Teslin, and he's doing a presentation with Steve from Black Walnut Studio, teaching people about how to improve their woodworking skills. Another cool thing at woodworking shows is being able to see skills that you hadn't seen before. There were a number of turners here from various guilds, the Golden Horseshoe Woodturners Guild, the Toronto Woodturners Guild, and there's people around here, the crowd just keeps on coming by and watching in fascination how you can turn a block of wood into something useful. And of course, we've got lots of shopping going on. One of the key things I was looking for was a respirator for someone with a beard. And I was able to find this Trend Airshield Pro on sale, something I've been looking for for a long time. If you're not sure why respirators are so important, check out my Dust Collection Fundamentals video to understand why it's important to protect your health. If you want to learn about hand tools and sharpening, check out Rob Cosman on YouTube. He's here doing tool demonstrations and also talking about his Purple Heart project. He gets wounded warriors into his workshop for a week and teaches them about hand tools. It really helps them in terms of their recovery with PTSD. He also sells tools and part of that funds the program that he runs. It's really a cool story. Now when I square the end, cut a little chamfer on that side first and flip it over. I've owned Makita Tools since I was a teenager and it's one of my favorite brands. I've got a miter saw, a rotor, a planer, and I use this black subcompact drill driver set. It's really cool. But check out this sweet circular saw. That might be next on the list. DeWalt's also here with a big display. They're showing off their newest tool and that's the cordless sander. And Ed's here promoting his invention, the saw set. It's a pretty cool tool. The last thing I'll show you is the used tool section. You'll often see these in woodworking shows. A great way to pick up some tools on a budget. I just picked up a coping saw for $8. And check out this hatchet with a claw on the end. Never seen that before. I hope this gives you an idea of what you can expect from a woodworking show. I encourage you to check one out. You'll have a lot of fun. It's the end of the show here. I picked up some supplies and some new tools, even a new hat. Until next time, enjoy your time in the workshop.